Good morning everyone, welcome back to Gillian at Mystic Healing Therapies. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is what to do if you've recently made a decision to make a medical, to take a medical product that you're now regretting. So we all know over the last year there's been quite a hard publicity drive um, from the mainstream media, from the government, from popular culture, um, trying to coerce us into taking a certain medical product. Now, the reason I'm sharing this video is just in this last week, I've had three people come to me that have took the decision to take the medical product, but now they're starting to regret it. They're noticing that things are happening in the body that weren't happening before they took the product and they starting to hear, if, you know, there's a few things coming out in the media about reactions and things like that. And they are starting to recognize this in their own body and they're starting to panic. Firstly, I would say to anybody that's had the product and is starting to regret it, don't panic. There are ways around it. So let's just look at the difference between those that might have chosen to have the product and those that haven't. So from my observations, the people that perhaps haven't chosen to have the product tend to be more reliant on their own intuition, their own sense of right and wrong. They've self-governed, they rely on their own sovereignty. They're confident in the sovereign choices. And also, they aren't particularly bothered what people think of them. So I shared a video earlier on around ego states and 5D and 3D. And people that aren't too bothered about what the masses think of them tend to be more reliant on their own sovereign choices but also they're not massively attached to their ego so if somebody thinks they're selfish for not having taken a product if that person knows in the heart that that's the right thing for them to have done then they're cool with that and they and whatever anyone else thinks is of no consequence so i have a little saying and it says i stand before my own conscience and i stand before god and that is it you know as long as my own conscience and I feel that I'm on, you know, connected to the divine when I make choices, then I'm cool with it. I'm not bothered what people think. I'm not bothered if they think I'm selfish or, you know, going to be a detriment to others because I've not taken a product. That's of no consequence. So the people that have chosen not to take the product tend to be a lot more self-reliant on their own inner voice, their own intuition, etc. So if you've taken the product and you're starting to worry about it, all I would say to you that there's nothing that can't be reversed if, if you are stepping into your divine self. So what we all need to understand is we're all very powerful creator beings. So as a human being, we are so powerful. Each and every one of us are really powerful. And, you know, if we really apply our thoughts and our... Um, spirit is in alignment then there's nothing that we can't do so if you wanted to reverse the effects of this product it is possible but firstly you would need to step into your personal alignment your alignment to the great spirit to god whatever you want to call it but it is possible if you step into that so what does that mean by sort of stepping into that well it means being more connected to nature, being more connected to that divine spirit, that divine light, knowing that there's a greater part of you, your higher self, linking that spirit, linking with the divine, taking more time to see beyond what, what mainstream media and the popular culture are telling you. There's a whole new world a whole new paradigm to step into if you open your heart and yeah it is your heart it's not your mind we live far too much in our minds in the 3d world but if you open your heart up to you know at least being open to these spiritual concepts then you will automatically become more aligned so anybody that's taking this product that's regretting it you know, there are, you will find things that you can do, practical things like 
pine needle tea, magnesium. There's uh, there's lots of resources. There's people more qualified than me to tell you what physically to do. But where I'm coming from is how to shift your spiritual and mental states in order to be open. So that's where I'm coming from. You know, if you've taken a product that you're now regretting, don't worry, but there are healing methods that can be done. So, you know, we've got to rely more on ourselves, on our own, um, on our own selves and our own mastery rather than taking what an outside source says. So, you know, a lot of people that have taken the product, they kind of have been looking for an external validation. They've been looking to want to fit in. You know, they were told it was doing the right thing. Um, so, you know, they've been coerced into taking this and the understanding that they're doing the right thing and they're, they're doing it for others. Um, but that is relying on someone telling them what to do. The people that haven't chosen to take it have been more, well, I'll decide what's right and wrong for me. I'm not going to let big pharma or governments or media tell me what's right or wrong. I'll make my own choice. And, you know, getting back to that thing about standing before God and my own conscience, if, if you're on that vibrational level, you're more likely to make choices for you based on what's right for you, not what an external source is telling you. So just getting back to this then, you know, if you are in that category of people that are regretting it, don't worry. If you find ways of linking to spirit, so even if it's just taking a five minute walk in nature every day and, you know, ask you whatever your belief system is, whether it's a guardian angel, whether it's your higher self, whether it's Jesus, whatever, whatever your belief system is, just have a go at linking with that. Have an open mind, have an open heart and just start linking with that listen to the birds listen to nature and just open your heart to that connection you know look around look what people are saying take some alternative viewpoints in and be be open and know that you know as a human being you really have got the power to heal thyself you know we all look for external healers but it you need to do the inner work before any external healing can work for example you know i took one of the labels i might put on myself is that i'm a healer but i can only heal somebody as much as their soul choice and their karma is able to accept the healing so it's the people need to do their inner work before any healing can take place um, if that makes sense so i'm on the one hand, I'm saying rely upon yourself because that's really important. But then it appears that I contradict myself saying that, you know, I've got healing methods that could help. Yes, I have got healing methods that could help. And, you know, if you're worrying about this, contact me via this channel. But I must stress that in the first instance, you've got a lot of inner work to do before any healing that would reverse the adverse effects of the um, product do so there's no point just superficially coming along and saying yeah I I'm, I'm wish I'd not took it now can you sort me no that way won't work you've got to sort yourself first you've got to find that inner connection you've got to find that connection to your sovereign being before any healing can work so it's again not putting not putting the emphasis on somebody sorting it you know if you come along saying oh dear I've made this bad choice can you sort me out please it's not going to work but if you come along saying all right i've recognized that i made a choice which now i'm you know would like to reverse i'm doing the inner work i'm connecting to spirit i'm connect i'm learning to trust my own intuition my own guiding voice remember we've all got one we've all got a higher self that's there waiting to guide and help if somebody comes saying okay i've made this choice but now i'm connecting to my higher self i'm listening to spirit i'm connected to nature is there anything you can do for me then yes then you know the alignment will be there so you're more likely to be able to receive the help to 
reverse the effects of the product. All right, so I hope that makes sense. And if you like this video, please share and uh, like it and share it and subscribe. And I'll be back with more. Take care, everyone. Lots of love to you. Bye.